So I would say my fishing hole is growing up a little bit. Mm. He's on. There he is. Not a big fan of taking my truck to this stuff, but Sometimes, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so I don't have much of a clearing, but I think this is where we're gonna put in. We'll have to make our own clearing. All right, let's get her done. I'll just know, guys, if it ain't, sometimes it's worth working for and you get rewarded. At least most of the time, I find. Work hard, get good things, big things. All right, so I'm thinking this is our path. Oh, and no water moccasins in here. Got my sandals on. But the big thing you gotta worry about is the darn fire ants. Fire ants will eat you up over here. I think I got me a nice little spot cut out. Perfect. All right. All right. I think I'm in. The things we do for the sport we love. Oh, I'm almost home, guys. Home bound. At least for the bass is home. Come on, baby. Let's go. Yeah, this stuff. Here we go. We made it. Woo! All right. All right, guys. So I had to switch it up to a worm here because the bite has been terribly slow. And this is the little bitty guy I just hooked. I think my worm is bigger. <laughs> well, look at this little guy. The future. The future mama. Oh, well, that's what we got, guys. Cute little guy. We'll let him go and try to locate his mother. I've been fishing guys for about 30 minutes now, and believe it or not, that was the first fish, first bite I've had. And I've thrown spinner bait, thrown chatter chatter baits, I throw the horny toad, and finally got my first on a Senko. Can't ever go wrong with a Senko, guys. Whenever the bite's tough, switch to the Senko. You're there's no doubt you'll get the hits. They just might not always be the big boys that you're wanting. Oh, guys, so my memory card got uh, went to full status. So I had to call my wife, who bailed me out, brought me a new memory card so I could continue on filming for you guys. Good woman's hard to find. He's on, guys. There he is. He's another little guy. Finding all the teeny boppers today. Oop, spit it right at the yak here. Hopefully I got that on video, the nice little head shake. Bluegill just pecked at it. That's what I love about these tournament bass rods, guys, from St. Croix. Gosh, the sensitivity is absolutely amazing, especially when you 
combo it with the braid, you could literally fill everything. He's on. About yanked his lips off. He's so small. Wow, man, look how dark. Wow, small and dark. Good old Florida bass. When you're fishing these Senkos guys, make sure that you're allowing enough time to sink. Because oftentimes these fish, they'll bite it on the fall. And so in other words, let it sink. Slowly reel out the slack. Just to see if there's anybody that's, t you know, grabbed the worm on the descent. I don't know how many I catch like that. My grandfather, when he first taught me about worm fishing, he used to say, you know, a six second rule. When you cast, give it at least six seconds before you bump the, the worm. It's a pretty good rule of thumb. All right guys, let me show you what I'm doing today. Uh, I'm Texas rigging a five inch Senko, and this is the watermelon red flake. And I'm putting, using a four aught bass hook which you can see here now how you rig this guys is you take the hook put it at the very top of the bait and just as that start that worm starts to round you pull it through the worm just like so now you just push it up and as it starts to go into this little you know arm here you want to turn the hook towards the worm just like so so now it should look like that. And you just take your thumb, you squeeze the bait here just like so. And you see this little smooth area? That's ideal where you want to hook this bait. So push it up, have it pierce through the other side and exit through the worm. And now it should look like this. Now in order to make it completely weedless, you want to take this worm, push it up, and just hide that barb right under the skin. And it should be essentially straight. So that's all there is to Texas rigging a Senko for bass fishing, guys. All right, let's get back to it. He's on. There he is. Another little bitty guy. Yeah. How cute. I need a mama baby. Probably caught about seven or eight of these things so far. That's gonna be a little bit bigger fish than what we've been hooking into. Let me stand up so you guys can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's bad when that little dink's the big fish of the day so far. But he is. There he goes. Right in the very corner of the mouth here. <laughs> Look at that black bass. All right, exciting. Get a little stronger tug. All right, guys. Soaked up with this little guy. Another baby. Little bitty. Hmm. Ah, little buddy. Oh, 
that one's on. Oh, man, that one's got a little weight to him. Mm. Not a bunch of weight, but a little bit of weight. Yeah. Okay. Not a monster by any means, but it's all right. A lot bigger than what we've been catching. Try to fish it wacky style, guys. It's a very effective way to do it. All you do is you hook it right there in the center of the worm and the vibration and the, the way it sinks really gets them fired up. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Oh, there he is. Another little bass. Hit it wacky style.